hey guys this is aj and welcome back to the crazy dreamer network so today's talk or today's episode is going to be a little different i actually just experienced something very unique very profound and um i really felt like god put it god put it in my life put it on my path so i could discuss it so you know maybe there's a lesson to be learned here so today's video was supposed to be called you have to start somewhere right so i have planned it out you know that's a lot of content makers do because it's kind of easier to plan ahead at least topics especially if you're just gonna go freestyle it um you know it, it to me it's easier um so yeah let's begin so today was an interesting morning kind of started the same as every morning because i have a routine yeah i woke up late today i woke up late i woke up like two hours late it was very it was very cozy in my apartment so i had the the i had the heater running um you know it was very cozy very quiet night right and i felt like there really wasn't a particular reason as to why i should have gotten up late but i did so you know i didn't i did not persecute myself for getting up late i did not you know put too much of a hard time on myself because i'm like you know what it's okay it's still it's still early and you're still gonna do what you have to do so it really doesn't matter how you know that you got up like a couple hours late maybe you needed the rest so i kind of just chucked it up like that and obviously definitely woke up before nine o'clock it was probably like 7 30 i woke up i typically wake up at five so it was like 7 30 i did my morning rituals meditated you know journaled or planned out my morning and then i, I read this thing so long story short i do that by nine o'clock i could park in front of my apartments but i have to move it because i don't want to take it right so i go and i move my car and i had to park ironically enough somewhere i've never parked before so you guys i just got this bar of dark chocolate um anybody live in lb i went to romero's so i don't know if you guys can see that yeah I went to Romero, single origin. Look how beautiful this chocolate is. Focus. Nope, there we go. It's really beautiful. But anyways, yeah, so I'm enjoying this with tea. It's like a high dark chocolate content, but. Mm. Should look good. okay so anyways <coughs> so i do my do i do my due diligence i go move my car i actually moved it somewhere i've never parked before but i'm like first time for everything so by the way this is uh, this will be an audio i'm filming it on my uh camcorder but on my camcorder where am i what year am i in i'm filming i'm filming it on my camera but this will be in audio form so park somewhere i never parked before i just go about my day so after i park i come back to my apartment and get everything i need and i go on my walk same route i always take i always take a route yeah so it's the same route that i always take okay i need to get through this story <laughs> over here eating and stuff so yeah same route that i always take and um yeah usually on that route i'm cool i'm pretty i'm coasting i'm to myself nobody really comes up and bothers me or you know says too much to me they may say good morning hit hi and bye stuff like that but no one ever stops me right so now i'm going through like this kind of man-made pond in the back of an old aquarium right but it's it's it doesn't sound as crazy as i'm explaining it it's very open there's workers there it's maintained all the time there's like um marine life and like nature so it's beautiful right it's it's it has its pleasantries and there's a lot of people but there are homeless people because i live i live in the city i live downtown so there are homeless people but i'm never afraid i always figure you know god walks with me and i'm always protected right so but I'm, I'm really not afraid i'm very aware of my surroundings too so don't get me wrong i'm just not out here just oh, raw dogging it blind you know what i'm saying like raw dogging like in my intuition or like my my safety please let's keep it cute so um 
so yeah so i'm always aware of my surroundings i always like make sure i have my purse in front of me all right, all right. i live i live there so i know what to be aware of and and everything like that so i'm walking i walk past these two gentlemen and they're kind of like you could tell they've made like a makeshift little um, they make like a makeshift little like bed or something like around the pond because that's it's a lot of home it's homeless people who who stay there and they they'll do that so actually ha having my headphones like listening to like a, a talk or a podcast or just like a lecture or something and i think they say good morning so whether they did or not i just say good morning so this other gentleman is passing like we're going parallel, right? So he's passing me the opposite way that I'm passing him. So I could tell he kind of like looks at me and I was just like, okay, that's like, whatever. Like, I didn't really think too much of it. I keep a mental note. Okay, like he's going to talk to them or he might know them, but I don't know, I don't care. Not necessarily, you know, so I keep it pushing. And then I kind of, I'm, I'm listening to the the uh, the talk, the podcast and, um, I can tell the same guy that was going parallel for me comes back and I could tell he's like telling me like asking me if I could take my headphone out so I take it out and then um he just starts talking to me he just starts talking to me and he's like yeah it's a beautiful day outside and I'm like yeah it is it is actually so we just start talking and then he begins to go on this like kind of like this rant or just starts talking and he starts off the conversation with like oh like basically like my girlfriend has my dog and she like won't give it back to me you know and i'm like wow like you know i'm like wow that's interesting like i, I don't say anything i'm just kind of like listening to him talk and then he kind of deviates off of this topic and starts telling me what happened to him i guess like a couple weeks ago or the night prior and he was telling me that he was like in the city not too far from where i live and it's kind of like a, you know it's not the best part of town and like long story short he sees his friend she's a female and like uh, the guy that he's with is basically trying to like kind of like destroy her car do something to her that is not very pleasant at all and he begins to tell me how he kind of steps in and he interjects and he like kind of he wants to you know help her help her get out of that situation and you know long story short i guess him and the gentleman who was with the the the, the woman um they end up getting in getting into it and he like has a knife the the guy who was with the woman has a knife and like you know basically he saves her life and but he ends up like messing up the guy and he doesn't even have any weapons on him that's kind of like what he's describing to me so you would think then i would be like mm, i need to try to like stop talking to this fool but to be honest i i'm i'm trying a thing in which i <laughs> i listen because really so many thoughts go through our mind even when people are talking and we really do not cultivate the art of listening to people you know so i'm like you know what i'm walking i'm walking I'm kind of like in the present moment obviously i'm a firm believer in everything happens for a reason so obviously out of all the days this guy stops and talks to me now like talks to me like is trying to have a full-on conversation he's not flirting with me it's, it's nothing of that nature it's nothing sexual or anything like that he's just talking so i'm like you know i let him talk so i let him talk and he's you know just kind of kind of going on a little rant but he's really describing like you know these things that are happening to him that just seem pretty you know unfortunate and so you know i'm a very aware person you know i i i'm very conscientious of my environment so i i walk this route every day so i make sure that i allow myself enough consciousness to walk in the way in which i'm in public sight at all times you know because i still want to listen i'm still going to listen to this guy because i feel like it was he was sent to me for me to listen to him and um but i'm gonna make sure that i'm safe right and so you know i'm walking just in the sunlight i'm walking in the brightness there's people galore around us so i'm like cool i feel safe i feel protected so i listen to him and he just continues to like go on about like you know how that happened but then the next day he had a really great day you know he had met some people they went to the beach and stuff the people even gave him some money 
and it was a way better day than that day prior to where he got into that altercation so then you know he's rambling and he kind of rants and rants but he then you know it's still a thread it's still like he's connecting the dots to what he's concluding to so then he goes back and he goes back to the story about the dog and the girlfriend and how the girlfriend didn't even want the dog um but it was it was given to him initially and the girlfriend he was living with the girlfriend at the time the girlfriend didn't want anything to do with the dog but long story short they ended up keeping the dog and basically she coerced having the dog and kind of like he's out in the streets right but she kept she keeps the dog and i'm just kind of listening to this like hmm, this is very interesting you know my friend my best friend just got a dog not too long ago like in december and i'm like this is very interesting because i now i have a firm understanding i love dogs i'm a dog person um and i could understand but when my friend got her dog and i could see how close close they are because it started off as a puppy and it's just growing with her I completely kind of understood what he was talking about right so I'm like yeah that's you know man's best friend or woman's best friend you know like it's pretty significant um pretty significant thing to have kind of taken away from you or how you feel it might have been taken away from you I didn't say anything I'm just kind of like I'm listening right but I'm I'm having this understanding through experience or through what's kind of going on parallel in my life whatever so um so yeah he I just let him talk he begins to talk so something tells me because conversation is going on for a minute so you know I'm, I'm walking the ways in which it's public daylight you know I feel safe I feel secure if anything I'm just kind of like okay well I I am conscious of you know what I want to be able to listen to this person I want to be able to to give this person my undivided attention because that seems like what they need right now but I, I am also aware of the things that I have to do in the in the uh, you know the the task that I have to accomplish too for myself so I keep that in mind and um, something tells me to stop something tells me to stop walking in this particular place and just stand and listen to him right I don't want obviously I don't want him to know where I live so I'm not gonna walk home with this gentleman so I just stand in like the precipice of the bustling city right so there's tons of people around us tons of stuff going on Amazon trucks uh, um, restaurants opening or preparing to open trucks delivering food for those restaurants all that so I feel completely safe I feel completely secure and um, I'm not worried I'm just like you know what I want him to get what's off his chest so you know I can be that ear for him because God is God sorts the all whomever is obviously sending this person in my life because you know maybe to help them or whatever just to listen so and mind you all the while this gentleman is walking with me I'm seeing angel numbers left and right but one particular angel number and that's 777 I keep seeing it in the most randomest places there was one point in our conversation to which I looked on the ground and you know those little sign posts where they're doing constructions in gold letters it was 777 like from a spray paint bottle so I'm like okay yeah this is divinely orchestrated right so let's go back to where I was so I stopped in the middle of like this you know bustling street and he proceeds to talk right he, he continues his conversation and I know that I really am just sending this person's life to listen to them you know this person had a lot on their chest and I could tell this person was in heavy pain and literally right as I'm kind of thinking that this gentleman is you know still talking about his dog and how unfair it is that his girlfriend like won't even let him see his dog and stuff and he begins to cry he begins to tear up and he he sheds tears and i'm like wow okay yeah i was really meant to listen to this person so when that happens i'm like wow okay i understand why i'm here but i also go in my mind i say a little prayer like you know god please allow me to help this person by listening or aid in this person's relief yet still allow this conversation to end gracefully I say that little prayer in my head and literally he continues for like 10 more minutes and then he I ask him like hey what's your name you know because I never got his name and then he goes you know my name doesn't matter you know um 
something 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 like Jesus Christ is you know the only thing that matters now he seems like a coherent person he doesn't seem like he's out of his mind but he seems like he has a lot on his mind and a lot on his heart so I feel like there are people who could you know they might be perceived as like crazy or unstable but in reality they just have a lot that's going on in their internal world that they need to transmute that they need to get out so when he says I'm like, okay that's fine you know but then he goes but you know my name is so and so you know I don't want to say it but he does tell me his name so I'm like okay you know I continue to listen so he goes talks for five minutes and then just out of nowhere he you know he goes you know what thank you thank you for listening to me because I just feel like, you know, just from you listening to me, you stop me or help me from doing something that would have harmed myself or another person, you know? And I I literally was like, wow, like I didn't say anything, but I was just like, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, no problem. And, you know, he was trying to like shake my hand, but you know, we did the elbow because I'm like, it's still a whole pandemic out here you know he has on a face covering the whole time obviously i have on one and so he just leaves he just leaves right and the whole time i'm, I'm literally seeing 777 seven, seven the whole time so i say all this to say i conclude this this message is that you know sometimes we hear people but we really don't listen and i've been very intentional as of lately to really open my mind and to listen to people because you really never know what people are going through and sometimes people just need to vent they don't need your opinion they don't need your input they t they simply just need to vent and i can tell this person was actually gained so much relief that someone would take their time out of their morning of their peaceful time of the time that they take out for themselves every morning whether or not he's aware of that to listen to them and he just went on about his way i even checked just to make sure a couple times after we you know parted he wasn't following me or anything he didn't he he left and at that moment i was like this is this this is a part of my journey this is a part of dare I say light working this is a part of of being of service you know this is a part of me being here on earth this is a part of my blessings this is a part of you know him being blessed to a certain degree so yeah I just it was an interesting morning but you know <clears throat> to go back even to the topic of this video you have to start somewhere I felt like that was my divine call to start start to really start my journey to really start this intentionality you know of aiding in humanity in any way I can helping people <clears throat> to understand themselves more to feel better you know <clears throat> in any capacity that I have that that I'm able to do that so to conclude you never know what a person is going through and sometimes the best thing you can do is just listen to them. No interference, no interjections, no real thoughts even about it, to just listen to them and allow them to transmute their energy in a more positive and um, cathartic way, you know? Because I truly believe that that gentleman, that's all he really needed to do in that moment was to, <clears throat> was to kind of be heard by someone who wasn't trying to offer him anything <clears throat> but but their ear yeah so all right guys i love you all so much i hope you gained something out of this it was very long but i'm gonna keep it you know i'm gonna keep it short from now on but that was interesting i was literally sent to me from god so god sourced all whomever the energy the higher energy so i love you guys please like share and subscribe this video if you found any insight if you have gotten any insight from it or maybe have a personal story of your own to tell like has there ever been something that you <clears throat> didn't intend to do or didn't intend to help someone with and you ended up helping them by just being present in the moment you know put in the comments down below <clears throat> oh my gosh what in the heck 
but i love you guys so much i'm gonna wrap this up and um yeah stay blessed stay well peace